Welcome back to another battle, everybody. I am Seaman Ammo Grandmaster Level Risk Global Domination Player, and right off frame here, you can kind of see his head. This is my little sidekick, Fergus, my lovely kitty. We are playing, as previously stated, Risk Global Domination. We're playing Tier List Tuesday. Almost messed up the word tier there. We're playing Tier List Tuesday. It's the series on the channel where we play a new map every single week on the meta settings. Progressive cards, balance blitz dice uh, with capitals. And we're playing as the green player out of the third position. I think we'll see pink cap on this five in Anatolia. I don't really know where my best play is here. These twos back here are pretty shot. I think white picked a really bad capital there. I think this four on Sudan would have been much better. Pink does not go up here. We've got a six that we can roll in if he does try to roll my cap right off the rip. So I, I like actually think I like this cap here for pink. I think the turkey cap is virtually unstoppable on this map. Um, we're going to take, I, I really like this grease cap in the middle of the board. White's not going to roll it. Pink might roll it. I think there's a little bit of risk behind that, but um, we should be able to roll from Hungary through the blue two and the white two and uh, and get him in here on this six. Hopefully orange doesn't cap right next to me. That would be very, very, very unfortunate. Um, yeah, so I, I think I'm okay with this. Obviously there's some risk going right next to this five here, but you only start with six territories. Uh, so you're a little bit limited and red is going to cap right next to us in the middle of the board. So a lot of map control uh, from the red player. Definitely a risky cap for them, but I, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. It's also the possibility that if uh, for some reason pink rolls my cap, then red has the benefit of being able to swoop right in and scoop a double cap in the middle of the board. Blue picks the Jordan cap. That's also a very good capital and orange goes there. Uh, I knew we'd get a noob in here somewhere, man. And, uh, and just because you have, I find that this map is so much more worth it to play for positioning than it is to play for uh, your, whatever your strongest cap count is. So what I mean by that is like, this is probably Orange's strongest cap that he could have gone on. Uh, he chooses to play for that instead of board positioning, which this cap is not a particularly good cap with where he sees Red's cap and he sees mine. And he picks a spot that's going to lead him to a, a pretty tough card block later on. Uh, and, and unfortunately, my cap would have been much better had Red not capped here. Red actually has probably the best board control here possible. Although, a potential two-point card block from the blue player later on because of where my cap is. That's potentially risky. Uh, I guess three-point on the back side. We've got to be careful of. Um, now, I'll roll the six if I have to roll a six into the blue two here. I would love if pink actually went up into the five here. He's going to go down, I assume. I, I don't know where that went, but down would not surprise me. Fortify into the three here and then uh, eventually hit this four over here. Pink is going to do basically what I, exactly what I'm going to do here, which is fortify directly to capital. Oh, he's got material over here that he's fortifying out. So he'll be able to, pink's going to be able to save most of his material here, which is good for him. We do have this guaranteed roll. We're going to try to roll this two on one over here first. Uh, just to see if we can win it without having to roll a six. We have to roll the six, unfortunately. We're going to roll that into blues two here. Uh, we don't lose anything. I'm not going to roll a five on two. I'm going to fortify this back. I'm going to let him bring his four in here. We're going to get out of his way. I'm not going to roll any extra material more than necessary. It's just not worth it. Uh, red's going to place troops over here. I think to roll my two, group this stuff up. I think that's... An interesting decision, because uh, you're, I guess, oh, you know, uh, I forgot that he is routing through Anatolia because Pink didn't cap there. So, uh, bonuses on this map, let's take a look at them, because they're obviously important for uh, the rating and the tier list at the end of the video. Uh, we have five of them. There is the plus three, uh, six, six territory Moran provinces. There's the plus four, seven territory Ottoman Europe. There is the uh, plus five, seven territory African territories. There is the plus seven, eight territory Arabia, and the plus six, eight territory Asia Minor. Uh, that's normally a 10 territory. It's got the double blizzard in there. Uh, this is a 38 territory map with two blizzards. So we're down to 36 for this particular game uh, with the five continents. And if you add portals on there, it would be four total portals on this map. It's considered a medium sized map by risk standards. Uh, you don't add anything here. I think you just roll in and get yourself out. Uh, it looks like he's going to roll in from the bottom, uh, which is certainly bold. Uh, so over to the left, Torig, Sicily, and into capital. Um, I would love it if he rolled through here. So yeah, he is going to roll through here. 
Which it begs the question, why place all of these troops over here if your fortify is not going to come from this three? It does come from the three, so he's just got a giant stack over the left. Interesting play by the orange player. Not going to bring the giant stack in. Double, double rolls on that particular turn. White rolls me up here. White might get aggressive for this bonus. I'm not sure why you roll the two there instead of instead of red. If you're going to roll off cap, I don't know. I guess pathing out, pathing through the top if you need it. It's pretty much the only explanation I can think of. Pink going to roll an eight on four here. That might give me a free roll off this five down here. Now he's going to scoot to the left, so we're still not going to get the free roll off of white here. White attacks off cap instead of rolling this four somewhere, so it makes me think there's quite a bit of material here. Uh, and pink is going to bring this into capital, so not a bad play by the pink player. Blue, probably going to play for Arabia bonus. Nobody else, uh, white could play for top right, and orange maybe for bottom left, but nobody's really going to have any bonuses to play for besides maybe blue and white. Pink fortifies over to this stack, and then this stack will come into here on the next turn. Uh, but with nothing to roll right now... Um, I guess we'll just roll this back this way. I have nowhere to go. We got to play this slow. I, in my first game, I capped next to, or I, I capped first, and then somebody capped directly next to me. Uh, my first attempt at this, it, I could have uploaded it. I ended up finishing second somehow, but it just it, it was messy. You didn't get a whole feel for how the map plays out, which is not how I want uh, uh, these games to go. So I, I want to give you guys a, a good idea where not four people have bought it in the first five turns. Um, hopefully we get our players, we see how it plays out, we get a feel for the map. Uh, spoilers, I haven't rated it yet, but I don't think it's going to end very highly on the tier list, unfortunately. Uh, but you know who ends highly on my subscriber tier list is the recent subscribers. I uploaded the past five videos all on the same day, or, or I recorded them all on the same day because I was away. So I've got some subscribers to uh, catch up on. Those subscribers are TubeSock94, Dr. Alphabets, Shadow Ember, Roman P., Arthur Englert and Abdul Alazmi. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, and, uh, and happy that, uh, that all of you have subscribed. If you want to get a shout out, like all of those people, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have public subscriptions. I'll give you the shout out that you so deserve. Now, something I'm noticing about this big old 11 here is that the blue player thought he could get this material that he had in the left side out to the right. Cause he didn't know red's cap was here. Probably didn't know my cap was here. And so now he's a little bit stuck, it does seem. Uh, so that's material that hopefully Orange is going to have to flush out of there. I mean, or it comes up through the bottom here. Orange rolling over here now. I'm not sure where he thinks he's going to get this material, but um, he's going to hit me out of here. He, he chose to be my neighbor. I'm not happy with orange I, he picked a really bad capital and now knowing that he had material down in here i mean he had the t t tripolitana uh here i mean red could have rolled it on the first turn maybe but neither i mean i guess this one's slightly better but he also had this material up here on crimea that we didn't know until we rolled into blue i actually think that would have been probably a better capital than this one because now this is a potential blocking zone that this one uh is susceptible to whereas you'd have to block further out and I wouldn't be able to block him up there. He'd still sit in the bonus like he wants to. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I just don't really understand orange's cap. He also clearly had this material down here that he just attacked me with. It looks like it must've been on like Yemen. Um, but maybe didn't want to cap next to pink. Maybe cap next to me, despite the double stacks here. I mean, I could have tried to dice roll him down, but I wasn't feeling like being that much of a meanie on the first turn. So we'll hit this way. I, I don't actually want to remove white here. I want to leave my cap open in as many spots as I can uh, as possible throughout the duration of this game. So we're going to move this way away from orange. Uh, we find a little bit of red up there. And until white moves this four, which he seems to have no interest in doing, he's attacking off cap, trying to play for this bonus instead of rolling this four for free cards. Uh, this map, if there's one thing I... I uh, I feel how this will play. It is that it is not worth it to close your cap off at all. You know, if you if you know you won't have a bonus, like pink and red and myself and and uh, and orange, no, we will not hold the bonus because we share it with another player's capital. There is truly no purpose in rolling anything next to cap. Like you notice, everything is open. Uh, red comes into cap here with his big stack to be safe. 
So this 11 from blue is just kind of going to exist. I think orange still has his big stack on Toreg here. So that's why blue hasn't tried to go out and around that way. He sees my cap. He sees red's cap off of this position on Tripolitana. I don't know why he's coming left here. Is that going to stay there? That's going to stay there. So blue seemingly doesn't have any troops on his capital. I think this was that six stack that he had down here. We'll just keep adding to capital. I'm getting some bad feelings about him potentially double tapping me here. I don't think he's paired up with anybody. He was one of the last players to join the lobby. He was the, uh, I guess he was the fourth player. Orange attacks off of capital instead of using his stack down here. That's a confusingly bad play when you have as large of a stack as he has down there. He's he's uh, he's attacking directly off of capital. That play is not the smartest. White finally attacks off this, so we'll leave this five up here. I'll move this five away, provided that Pink doesn't roll it right now. Pink did have that big stack over on Oman that he should be able to roll. So let's push this up so we can see the entire board. We have no idea what's going on with White over here, but White finally remove, removes this. Has not taken the full bonus up here. We'll keep the five on Crimea. Pink trades in early. Why would, is he going to try to take Blue's capital here? Oh, we just had a little bit of a snafu there. I think he might be trying to take Blue's capital. Blue has not well defended his capital at all. Don't hit the five. Don't hit the five. Don't hit the five. Okay, he hits, he hits white here. Interesting. Do I have a set? I have a set. Do we think he defends this well enough? Does he not get back to cap? He doesn't get back to capital. We take this for free. I'm going to set in early to take his cap. Absolutely, I said in early to take that. This is such a good position to play from with both of these capitals. Absolutely, I take this. Left all of his troops off cap. Has a big stack somewhere else, so we got to be careful of that. But he's only going to have a, at most 13 that can come at me now. And he's the only one who borders me here. So... Normally, I wouldn't set in early, but I knew this wouldn't be strong enough to hold up against whatever he brought in here. So, we had a 5 there. It would have been 10. You know, we did lose a troop. We should have hoped we should have had 15 on this, but we added an additional 6 because he traded in before us. So, he used something up here that I think he failed a hit on white, maybe. Um, blue, uh, again, not giving the impression of really knowing what they're doing in this game. Uh... And if they did get whacked, it's possible that pink just goes up and takes that uh, and takes that blue cap on the next turn if they missed the roll. And blue doesn't add anything to this with a bot out, which it seems like they are botting out. Very unfortunate, uh, especially because they bought it out right next to my territories. Uh, but that is five territories. So blue hat must add at least six territories here because they get five troops and we don't see anything placed on the seven. So this five can maybe eventually come back into capital here. We've also got uh, 14 down here. Pink might, again, might go for the blue cap in the middle of the board. We'll see if that happens. Or they try a 13 on four, but they don't have a set. Or sorry, 13 on 14, but they don't have a set. So I'm not super worried about them. White doesn't lose his capital. White card skips. That's a painfully terrible play by white. Card skipping when the blue player has botted and two players have already set in. Uh... <laughs> We're having some some very interesting plays. I'm not trying to be mean to the players, by the way, when I'm pointing out these plays that I perceive as bad. Um, that's not it's not meant to be that way. Just so we're clear, um, but I, I don't recommend playing it how how White did there. I don't think that the card skipping does anything for you, especially when Blues are going to end up being a kill target. That uh, that Pink is without a cap is going to be kind of a freebie at some point. Probably rolls my five here. I really wouldn't be surprised by that. Seven on five with the way we've seen this pink player play. Or is he skirt down? He skirts down. Okay. I'm not sure what the goals are here by pink, but I don't, I'm not complaining. 
it's really going to come down to whether or not he gets a fortify down to this 10. How much, how many troops I play down here. He's, he's playing his turns too slowly. Unfortunately, that is the uh, downside of the 60 second turn timer. Let's make this a 24. I, I'm actually more concerned about that cap because it's right next to red. And we will attack this right here. We do lose a couple troops, but pink won't have a set on this next turn. So uh, essentially white goes from the eight trade to assuming that orange and, and red both take cards here. He goes from the eight trade to the 12 trade because blue's not going to set in anytime soon. Um, so I, I don't, I don't think the four extra troops really does much with, with, but it does put you behind in terms of whatever progression you're going for. Um, we do have to be a little bit careful of a pink set on three. I mean, obviously this 10 here is a little bit threatening and, and red probably willing to do a little scoop and shoot here where if pink does get a set on three and rolls me, he could potentially come in and, and scoop this, uh, shoot, shoot through here and scoop this a little shoot and scoop, scoop and shoot. I don't know what I said. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But I like the double capital position we've got right now. Orange sets in early. See, so white, really, the card skipping, it, you know, you you got, essentially went from 10 to 12. You only bypassed red because blue's not going to set in because he's not here. So I think orange is going for this left-hand bonus, uh, the plus three here. It's not worth it, uh, in my opinion. Like, obviously, a plus three is a plus three, but very, very card blockable spot over here with the uh, two-point block up here and then red's cap. Basically gets all you, all you need it to. Uh, White's probably going to take a card now, I would presume. The blue cap in the middle of the board also going to be very powerful. I'm going to place a troop here, attack down, and then we're going to try to even split between... He's going to four on three me here. He's going to try to four on three me here. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay. Well, we'll open them up over here because I think that seven that was roaming around was much of what we saw. I, I don't really understand that play. I think the pink is a mega noob. Um, does it end up here? No, the, the 10's going to move away. Yeah? The 10 comes up here. All right, that's fine. Uh, this is the cap I don't really want to attack next to, so... There's a six there that I guess I didn't account for. We got 19 and 27 caps. Red would be really foolish to try to roll this. But he might go hunting for... He's going to hit me here. He's going to open up pink. Okay. I don't have a set on three. So I think we just... We place three down here to attack the rest of the four up here. And hopefully red doesn't set on three and, and try to roll us. I mean, we won't get killed by red, but we could get double tapped with a set in by somebody. Uh, white is going to be forced to set in here on the 12. Again, they went from 10 to 12 with that card skip. They do put themselves at the back of the order, which I suppose has its merits. Uh, but not when their capital spot is... I mean, they were on what? Durrani? This is a pretty bad cap spot. It could be worse. It's it's like a four-point card block. One, uh, one two, three, four... They could be all the way back here on Far East on a two-point card block, so they're not that bad. Uh, we've had a lot of our positions removed, which is unfortunate, but it's all right. Orange attacks down. Interesting. I would have split and brought those remainder of those troops over. Did he get the... He doesn't even have this bonus over here, which is interesting. We are aware of every capital, which is nice. So we're aware of the, the white capital over here, the blue capital on Jordan... These three caps in a line, and then the original pink capital down here. So hopefully pink comes left here, maybe tries to burrow himself on the left-hand side through orange's stuff. That would be nice. He does set in here. I had a feeling that would happen. But he knows how strong this cap is. And he's going to arrive at my cap later than these other ones. I'm surprised he doesn't place those troops on the six here and roll blue's cap in the middle and actually have a chance to survive. Blue is worth three cards, so if this cap gets rolled and I could capitalize off like i know if i see that orange is taking this bonus over here and then i can roll just this 13 it actually might be worth it um i don't think pink had pathing down here so i think he might have just hit through red's junk up there 
Uh, Pink is uh, unfortunately a bit of a noob. Pink, if you end up watching this video, I hope you get some tips out of it. I hope you're able to uh, to improve your gameplay because I respect the desire to stick with the game, but I unfortunately don't think your strategy is uh, is is very sound at the moment. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Pink tries to fortify that away. Again, we're just going to do the four down here, and then I don't want to attack off this position at all. I want to discourage red from hitting it. I think red knows orange's cap is there, so theoretically shouldn't hit that. We do attack in front of cap, which is my favorite, but we have this path up through here, which is essentially the same as the path through the right side. Just have to hit through a six if I want to go aggress white, but I don't want to go aggress white. Red goes to the right here. And he comes down. He finds the 21 cap. This could be a mistake. Do I have a set on three? I don't have a set on four. Um, 28. Interesting. Is this going to try to roll me on the next turn, or is he trying to keep pink out of here? Well, at this rate, I'm going to put everything down here. I don't understand this play by red. I mean, if I had a set, this, this is useless. If I had a set, this play is useless. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a set on four. Very, very bad luck. I'm not going to die, but there's a risk that red rolls me. We're going to try to prevent that from happening. Blue is worth three cards once again, but that cap I don't believe has been taken. Did he get? Yeah, he's still getting five. So this cap has not been taken. Not going to be worth the roll. I'm surprised red wouldn't go check it out. I don't know if he knows that the blue cap is there or not. I thought he did because... Blue flags officially. That's good because we see the sizes. I presume this is about a 12 cap would be my guess. 14 here, 10 here. It was. It, it had probably five or six territories for a bit. Uh, pink might have hit some of those, but that is a bot. And I think there's a potential that Orange did just take this bonus over here and fortified a, a split on it in that plus three. White's still only getting five a turn. We don't know that he has this bonus yet. Uh, at some point, there's going to be a kill on pink available. Uh, Pink's still only getting three. Surprised he hasn't tried to roll the blue capital. He's going to roll me down here, though. So we'll just hit wherever he doesn't. It does open me up a little bit. If he stops there, we'll play off Yemen into Nedj. Come back to capital with all of the troops. I mean, that's fine, too. I, I really couldn't care less. I, the more you open me, the better. Because Red's obviously not going to let me out through here. Red's not really a threat to this capital anymore. The trades are 25 because of that early orange trade-in and the uh, other early pink trade-in. It's a four there. Uh, ideally, we just get him on three cards soon. We lose a two. That's pretty abysmal. Hopefully, he doesn't set in and roll this cap. That would be very, very frustrating. Just take the cap in the middle. He's going to kill pink. Oh, actually, maybe he takes the blue cap here. He does. He loses 16 on that. Wow. So that was a 57, 56. He splits back to cap. So the blue three, the three blue cards are available now. And he doesn't roll me. I'm going to tell him thanks. I appreciate Red doing that. And I think that rolling me because of where my other cap is positioned would have been a bad play. Because if he got bad dice, not much good comes of that. Uh, Orange does have this bonus over here. So that means... Blue only exists, so we would get an instant set in off of killing blue. 30, and we see 24. Good dice would be worth it even more. Could I chain it into a pink kill as well? Set in off of pink and play this split game with red? Because the problem is, is we didn't see wherever that 11 stack went of pink. But if he does take a card here... I think he, I don't know, maybe he was banking on taking this from red. So red, he lost 16. That would have knocked him down to about 40. And he sent nine over here. So pretty even 31 split between these two capitals. Slightly stronger than me despite rolling a cap because he was so conservative the entire time. Uh, and obviously traded in ahead of me. I should be getting more troops here. I'm going to go, I think, do I kill pink and then kill blue? Uh, I don't know. 30 bomb. I think we kill blue first since we have a pretty good idea of where those blue positions are. And 
nine here. Should get this job done. Is this the last of it? It's a five. All right, we're gonna go through and kill Pink as well. Um, take the plus two here. Just gonna make this a 30. And we're just gonna find as much of him as we can because makes sense to kill him. We lose six on that. Not great. And there is that kill. Uh, and then a full 40 set here. Can't kill orange, can I? He's only on two cards. We definitely don't kill orange. Make this a 50. Red's got a 30 in the middle of the board. This cap, I think this cap is more important. If orange takes a card here, do I have a set on three? I have a set on three. If orange takes a card here, we get a nice refresh. It's probably defending with 11s on each of these spots would be my guess. Red's on three cards. I don't think I want to set in. I think I want to see if either of these players don't set in. Oh, he's got a 22 up here. All right, I don't really want to go for orange then. He's checking out white. White's on five cards. I, I don't go for that. I definitely do not go for white. Oh, I don't know why you're poking the bear here, orange. That's super risky. He does bring it back to cap, which is smart. Is he going to leave some in the corner there? Uh, no, it seems like he brought everything back. Because or or white sets here, right? So white will be... Trades are 45. I honestly want to see if I can get red on, on four cards here. He hits orange. Does he go... Oh, he's going to go in. He might feed me this kill if he's not careful. Or his own. He's going to at least check the capital, right? No, he splits. He does check it, but now he sees he doesn't... Oh, no, he knew what was on this. Oh, he's going to check these red caps. He's going to come down... Oh, he's taking the bonus? No, he checks the red cap. Does he roll it? Because he kills red if he rolls it. Like, he, he feeds red to me is what I mean. He's going to find my 50 cap. He doesn't know what's on this. Yeah, there it is. Very weird play by White there. I don't know what the goal was. I'm going to hold off setting in. We had like 37-31. I would set in off of a kill on red next turn, even if I set in. So my goal here is just hit here. Uh, I'm going to leave that three there, actually. We're going to pull this in. If red doesn't set here, I think I can kill him. Middle of the board position with white sectioned off from himself. Red comes off with the 36. These are, this is 38, that's 37. Or no, this is just a 36 and he split. I think it was 36 and he split. Orange sets in. An early set in from orange is very, very interesting. Is he just going to go aggress white again? Because I don't think you should open white up. 55 trade in. I would trade in off of killing red. White is open up to these caps. I've been a good neighbor to red, but I don't know that I should be. I think the middle caps are... I almost would rather give orange grease. Risk giving orange the grease cap and take these two middle caps. Hold the three cap here and almost let orange have this for free. I think white's going to try to dip in over here. And break, which is foolish, but should get orange mad at him. Does that come all the way back to cap? Or did he split it? No, it comes here. All right. We set in now. 57. Buck 39. That should be enough just from that spot. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Good dice. 61. I have pathing up here to take this if I need to. We'll set enough to kill. 
34. Is this the end of red? It is. I feel a little bit bad that I killed him because he was a good neighbor to me, but uh, at the end of the day, I think that was the right play. Because I, I could tell red was pretty good. I'm going to literally put 10 here. I I'm not going to put anything on that. Orange can have that capital. I'm going to go fist bump. He can have that cap. I don't actually... I think this cap is so much better for blocking. I can two-point block him up here uh, from Anatolia and, uh, and Crimea. He doesn't even have the bonus. I will leave this as a 39 for sure. I'm giving that cap to Orange. You can have it for free, brother. I don't care. White did break. The, here's the issue. Here's the issue. Is if Orange doesn't take it, if Orange leaves this here, he's making a mistake because he's going to let White have it. I didn't consider that. Take it now. Go ahead and take it. Is he going to block? And he's just going to... Oh my god, he's literally not going to take it. So White's just going to come take that. I intentionally didn't defend it because I... Oh, dear. I didn't care if he took it or just being way too good of a neighbor. <laughs> He's going to try to protect it or something. You got to fortify that onto Anatolia. You can't. No, don't put it there. He's just going to take it. <laughs> Dude, if neither of these guys take. What? Or now I'll defend it. I guess. Okay. I swear to God, if, if he rolls it now, I'm going to die laughing because it's going to be the funniest thing. Because it was just, it, it was a no-brainer to take it last turn. I mean, I'm fine if he lets me keep it. If, as far as I can tell, these two players are playing for second place, and I think White's about to decimate this guy. Uh, unless he puts the 25 on cap. If you put the 25 on cap, you'll be fine. He's going to move it forward. Oh, no. Oh, you got to leave it on cap. Now, White can throw his game here, but I, I just need to set in on this next turn. I don't think I'm at risk of getting blocked by these players. Um, White's at risk of locking off his own cap here. He's going to play off this. So that really shouldn't win a cap unless it wins mine. He goes through the top. He's just going to go in and break, and these guys are just going to let me win. I don't know that I feel good about that, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> so uh, the first game I played, we had some impactful blizzards that created two uh, one-point bonus holds, essentially. So there was a blizzard here on North Sahel and a blizzard over here on Caucasus. And that created uh, a very clustered dynamic. This has allowed for a lot more open board movement. And so I find that this map is going to be really hit or miss in terms of... Uh, how that matters. I think that, yeah, that ended up on my capital. Delightful. So we're just going to strike this again. I don't care that much about this cap. We'll make it like a 50. Um, I'm not going to take this bonus, but we're going to hit here. This does give white. A, soon we'll give white additional pathing. I want to keep white down in here because I don't care about this bonus all that much. We'll make this a 55. I want the middle. I want this middle cap to be the strongest. I'd like to leave this pathing open. Uh, I'm going to move this here just in case. Uh, but these two players seem to be fighting with each other. Uh, I am double, about double white size. So that should help. There's always the chance that orange turns on me. Now he could just sit next to white here and try to bait white and split on him. I think that would be a mistake. I'm surprised he's not even playing off of this 10 here to take his territories back. But it does feel like these two players are playing second place. Uh, for second place. So uh, essentially my feelings about this map are that um, you guys have seen me on the channel, uh, not with a tierless Tuesday, obviously, but you've seen me on the channel play the advanced version of this map. And I feel like it's just this map, but a little less congested, um, which, which has been nice. Uh, so Ottoman empire, let me take a look at that map. So this is, this is 36 with the 36 territories with the blizzards. Uh, the Ottoman advanced map is 54, so it's an additional 18 territories, and I feel like that just lends itself to a bit less cluster in the middle. You still have this Cyrenaica territory here in the middle, 
that uh, that does cluster the pathing through here. You also have this kind of cluster through here that both still exist. Um, I wonder, oh, he is... What is he doing? He seems to be turning on... Is he going to roll this? I mean, I don't really care. You can have all of that. That doesn't impact me. White's just trying to get as many territories as he can for extra troops, I think. I, I don't understand that play at all. Um... But now you don't have access to most of these caps. I'm not going to open this up anymore. Uh, I'll just attack with this, I guess. Orange has really shown uh, a want to work with me, as far as I can tell. So I'm, I'm not going to hit him. I don't know why White went to uh, went into me exclusively on that turn. Maybe to try to show Orange that he wanted to battle no longer. Very possible, and I don't particularly like that, but... Uh, I showed Orange here that I'm willing to continue hitting White, so we'll keep it that way. His only pathing is going to be through Orange here on Anatolia right now. Uh, and I think he locked his cap off on that last turn. So maybe we card block White soon. I'm not really sure. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. Uh, but yeah, so this map, I feel that it just... It's a little clustered on the right side of the board. The, the advanced side of the uh, part of the map is a bit less clustered. It has more bonuses to play for. There are, uh, I believe, seven continents instead of uh, instead of five. White sets in now. Comes over this way. Is he going to go bust through orange again? Orange took this all back. No, he stops and trades in early. I'm not going to trade in here. We, I'm going to take this. You know, I uh, know. I, I told you. Actually, he has no pathing through here now. So we're going to take this bonus. Um, put that here. We're just trying to keep everything. Pretty even. I'm gonna prep to break uh, to card block white. I don't want to do it yet. Uh, unfortunately, orange seemingly got the short end of the stick. Although he had the giant hundred stack or whatever it was over there. I don't know where that went. I think that's what he's attacking with now. Um, it's an eight. I don't know that I believe that. Um, but if he keeps hitting white. No complaints by me. If he comes in here and breaks me, there's the simple retaliatory play of breaking him. I'm not going to do that because it looks like he's not going to break me. Probably just cap checking. I'm surprised he wouldn't hit Yem or Oman here. He might... That might have been a play to open up his cap. I'm not sure. Um, fortifies down in front of me just for his own protection. I don't think he realizes I can attack through Maghreb, but... Yeah, White is trying to show Orange that he's only going to hit me. So, because of that... Uh, we're going to go card blocking. All right, well, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to card block. No, Orange doesn't understand the concept of a card block, does he? He, he understood blocking his own bonus off. I mean, if he keeps this here and splits in front of him, that'd be nice. Oh my god, he just sacked it into the capital! Oh, uh, yeah, Orange is playing for a second for sure. What the heck? He just lost all that. He didn't even get a card! He didn't want to hit me at all. White sets in. This is hilarious. And White's not going to leave me alone here either. Yeah, White doesn't... White is failing this assignment abysmally. He's just going to come in and break me again. I don't know why White's playing like this. White could work with me and I'd turn on him into orange, but he's not working with me at all. So I don't know why he thinks he deserves any sort of respect here. Um, I'm not going to give it to him. 
Think he's gonna blast through this 12 here. I mean, you're just putting yourself in a losing position here, sir. I hope he loops around and card blocks himself. That'd be really hilarious, quite frankly. Come hit the 12. Just come hit the 12. That's all. He doesn't hit the 12. All right. Well, play off the 70 here. Uh, the goal is to card block. Uh, he's still going to have the pathing off cap. Don't want to hit with that. I want to hit with this. I do lock my cap here, but... White doesn't have a set anymore, so he's got to come off this territory over here. So Orange is just going to sack this 9 into the cap, too. Oh, he took up here. Why did you... And then he sacked into the capital. So at least he took a card this time, but he isn't hitting me at all. So how do I work with Orange when he keeps giving White cards? And don't anger him, right? I don't want to anger Orange. But White's just going to take the free card up here. 211 huge capital and instead of going into orange over here he's going to keep going into me i don't know what your problem is i don't know what his deal is dude i want him to roll a capital is what i want the benefit is he just card blocked himself when i'm on a set so to, to each their own i suppose oh thank you all right i kill him now good good game <sighs> this guy's so annoying. I can loop this through where I just kill him straight up. I don't care that it's only for two cards. I should still live here. Orange? Yeah, orange won't be on a set. Good game. Slider this. This guy's been an absolute nuisance. And that is definitely enough to kill him over here. I'm not even going to defend this cap over here. It's awful. Uh, now I'm going to laugh at him because quite frankly, this guy was not like all he had to do is try to show me that he was going to work with me. Uh, all he had to do is show that me that he would work with me against orange and he never did. You know, like he was battling orange early on, which of course he's gonna, um, Orange isn't gonna, or, yeah. Orange isn't gonna have a set here, so we'll just do that. I'll leave a little bit down here. He'll, he'll roll off the 88 here. He could double tap me. He's not gonna be able to get all four caps. Could get. I mean, he'll get the one up here. I don't really care. Um, do I have a set on three? I have a set on three, so that's delightful. I can card block him now. Hopefully, he'll give me the free spots to card block him. Oh, oh my God, he failed that. That was really bad dice. Um, we'll set here. He's on two cards. Uh, just gonna put a little bit over here. But yeah, white like white was playing that one v one, and why would I get involved? And then he, can I, I can't take that. No. Um, I don't know why I would get involved in that situation. I'm actually I'm just gonna one point card block down here. Let's put like fifty five. 15 and then the rest here. I don't I'm not worried about getting extra cards here. Uh that should work. Uh yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it was a situation where White needed to just continue the battle. I get that he's trying to play for the win, which I respect. But if you keep sacking into me, I, I'm not gonna work nothing's gonna come of it any good. Uh, but I respect Orange. Orange saw the position he was in, realized that it, it, fighting me, maybe he could fi fight me with White. Uh, that that was certainly a possibility. Um, good game. Well played. Good luck to you and a thumbs up. Uh, 
Orange weirdly picked the cap directly next to me and became the least obnoxious player possible the duration of that game. I really thought that cap next to me was going to be an absolute nightmare for me, and it was not. So let's take a look at the ranks here. I think white was the best player in the game, despite the bad capital. Uh, him or red, I think red was pretty good too, but just got unlucky with, uh, with the way the cookies crumbled there. Yeah, red was a master, white intermediate, pink and, and orange intermediate. Uh, pink was probably lesser skill than I anticipated being intermediate. White is better than I anticipated with intermediate and orange is pretty much intermediate where I expected them to be. Not surprised that the botting player was a beginner. Uh, let's take a look at the map and where it ranks on our tier list. This is uh, the map itself. We always do this every video uh, and oh no, this is the, uh, this is the advanced map. I do apologize. This is the map. Apologies. Uh, and you can see, you know, if you had any blizzards in here, like if we had blizzards on, on, uh, on Cyrenaica there, like we saw, uh, with my cat or the red capital, if we had Turkey blizzard, either of those really chokes up the map even more. Uh, and there's some blizzards up here that can choke it up on one point holds into these back areas in, in like the, uh, Iran, uh, Persia area or up here in one of the stand countries. I think that's like Southern Kazakhstan there. Uh, either of those, it, it can be really tough to, to navigate through. We fortunately didn't have those blizzards this game. It allowed us to play it a little bit open. I think, um, this map requires some skill card blocking. I think we're going to end up putting this above, uh, let me find it, uh, we have to remix this tier list real quick. I, d I was not prepared, everybody. I do apologize. Uh, we got to find Ottoman here. Uh, it shouldn't take me too long. Ottoman Empire right here. Uh, I do like this map better than... Uh, I, I like it better than Roman Empire. I like it better than e -by Land because both of those maps, especially with the Blizzards, can get overly choky and too easy to card block on. But... Uh, do I like it better than Greece? I think I like it better than Greece, but I do think it has the potential to suffer in the same way as Africa does, and I think the bonuses are better on Africa. Uh, Greece, and then these two down here, just the blizzards can choke it up too much, lead to too much of snowballs or too easy of card blocking on individual players. I think the card blocks need to take a little, a little bit of skill. So we'll put Ottoman here in the lower half of C tier. Uh, and I hope my explanations on, on how that plays out uh, make some sense. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because if you did, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos just like this one every single Tuesday. Comment down below what you thought about it if you want to catch a video that YouTube recommends for you in the upper left-hand corner. Subscribe button's directly above me. As always, everybody, I have been C-Money. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. Peace!